So hi and welcome to another video and today we're going to be comparing these mouse pads here for the fastest versus the slowest or highest friction versus lowest friction using the force gauge meters we normally do here and the FK2 here is the baseline mouse to push across them. And we're also going to include my G640 results here because we use that as the baseline mouse pad and you'll be able to use that throughout my other statistics which are on beardedbob.com to understand how fast these pads are, which pads work for you. If you haven't already been to birdiebob.com, I have a load of comparison charts there, as well as all my reviews that I've done for different products. You can also compare mice, mouse pads, loads of stuff, as well as use the voting system to let me know as you have done for this video, which one you want me to prioritize. So this video, the basically the Aurorus AMP500 versus the Glorious Helios, as well as the Fury S, and the MP510 here have all been very popular and you wanted to see a lot of these compared together, particularly Glorious and the AMP500 that I haven't done yet. So we're going to do that today in this video. So stick around, get some food, get a drink, because we're going to be in a little bit more statistics here. After each mouse pad run, I will show you charts so we can compare these as we go forward and see which ones are coming out to be the fastest or the slowest. Now, just to help you a bit understand my readings here, if you see the result NSW, that means normal rotation of the mouse pad, sideways motion. If you see NFW, it's normal rotation forward motion. RSW is rotated pad sideways motion. And RFW is rotated pad forwards motion. The reason why we take these readings is a few of you want, a few of you asked for it for a start for me to rotate the pad. And also to help understand how the pad performs on different rotations with different textures. Now the average result here is actually the way the mouse pad would be in normal rotation and you would use it, so forward, backwards, left and right. And that's the one really we're going to focus on here today to understand the performance. But I'll also do the statistics to ensure that you can read these. And if you want to rotate the pad, you can do that yourself. I'm not going to show you all the motions across the pad here. I'll show you all the directions with one push. And what I'll do is I'll average up the three pushes that I did to get the result. So we can use that in these results. The lower the number, the faster the pad, so the easier it is to push, and the higher the number, the more friction it is, and generally the more control you can get from the pad as well. So let's get on with the Helios. So the Helios' first average on NSW was 17 grams, NFW was 21 grams, RSW was 16 grams, and RFW was 22 grams. So that gave the Helios in with a standard average, which is fast of 19 grams. This is the fastest pad we have tried. It's faster than the Artisan Sendikai. So it's certainly a fast pad, the Helios. So these are the ones going to, have to be pretty quick to compete with that because that's a quick average. You can see here the Helios compared to the Logitech G640. Like I said, this is my daily runner and this is one we use as a baseline. It is slightly more worn than the Logitech G640, so bear that in mind. These ones are all brand new, so. Could make some difference there. But the average on the Logitech G640 was 26 grams. So let's go on to the Fury S here. The NSW average was 27 grams. The NFW was 39 grams, which is quite high. The RSW was 28 grams. And the RFW was 39 grams. So this gives the Fury an average of 34 grams, which is slow. So that's not a problem, it's more control, but it's supposed to be a speed pad here. This is what HyperX rate this as. And as you can see, for me, it's not speed, it's more control, let's say. So at the moment, the Helios is still the fastest. The G640 is in the middle kind of balanced range at the minute in these readings, and the Fury S is at the bottom at the moment. So as a bit of a curveball here, I bought the Amazon Basic pad here. It comes out looking very similar to the QCK and kind of the feel and the weight. And I want to put this in here to see whether you could spend pretty much, I think it was about five quid and see how it compared against these other pads and if it was worth spending any money. So the averages for the Amazon basic pad here, the NSW came in at 32 grams. The NFW came in at 37 grams. The RSW came in at 33 grams. And damn, the RFW came in at 53 grams average. So that gives the Amazon basic here, a average of 35 grams. So it's actually only one gram behind in force the Fury S. That's because we're taking the NFW and RSW as the overall average here. And not that bad given the Fury S is meant to be a speed pad. So it has got a little bit of friction on the forward rotated there, but 
it's not too bad. So the rankings at the moment for speed first is the Helios. Then we've got the G640. Then we're rocking the Fury S. And then just behind that is the Amazon Basic Pad. So let's move on to the Coolmaster MP510 here. So the NSW was average of 16 grams. The NFW was an average of 23 grams. The RSW was an average of 21 grams. And the RFW was an average of 27 grams. That gives the Cooler Master MP510 a good average of 22 grams here, which puts it in second place for speed. So we've currently got the Helios being the fastest, then the MP510. Then we've got the G640, the Fury S, and then we've got the Amazon Basic at the back here. Been the slowest pad out of these so far. So let's go on to the AMP500 here. So the NSW here came in an average of 22. The NFW came in an average of 23. The RSW came in an average of 19. And the RFW came in an average of 21 grams here, giving it an overall average of 21 grams, which puts it in second place. So we've got the Helios being the fastest, the AMP500 second, then the MP510 third, although they're very close. And then you've got the G640, the Fury S, and then the Amazon Basic at the back there, but only just behind that Fury S. So I hope you've liked this video. I hope that was informative about the way I've kind of done this going forward. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing the next one. If you want to recommend something, let me know. Or don't forget to vote on the beardybob.com website for the next video. And I will see you all very shortly. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.